I would enjoy a city break in Reykjavik because I am a right hot geezer. Mm, yes, I can see what you did there. That's very clever. You won't win. Mm. Now, ticking the correct age category box. Careful, Ronnie. Ooh, that was close. Nearly had to tick the 40 to 55 age group. Oh, go to Iceland. They'll take the preserving qualities of a glacier to halt your dive into decay, love. I'll always be younger than you. You'll always be uglier than me. Oh, meow. Catching us in middle age. Such unattractive bedfellows. Yes! Come on, you beauty. Good news? I'm officially no longer part of the K. McLeod inquiry. That was Sergeant Collins. Funny little man. <sighs> yeah, case company aren't pressing charges, keen to sweep it all under the carpet. Reputation of dependability and all that. Which means the Dibble are no longer interested in me. So, that's it? I hardly think so. Cantonese and Shabley, my treat. So, all back to normal. Again? All that stress and anxiety misplaced and unnecessary because the Dibble aren't interested in you anymore. You know that I'm deeply sorry about this, Joe. Wow. Who am I? Go on, who am I? OK, it's come in. No, don't be daft, man. It's for that shindig tomorrow night. Guess who I am? Uh, I don't know. I'm Angelina Geordie. <laughs> 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 Everything just slides off, doesn't it? I suppose, really, logically, there is no reason for you to change. I just pick up the pieces. Ouch. Joe! That whole stuff with the vase really wasn't my fault. Please, I know I've been a tad economical with the truth, but it wouldn't have been right if I'd taken the fall for Kay. You even talk like a wide boy. What's going to happen to you to stop you being so, so damn feckless? Feckless? What? I'm trying, OK? I really am. I've been early to pick up the outfits for tomorrow night. Come on, let's put this behind us. Ronnie's played a blinder to put this night on for George. Remind me to tell him that Melody's cried off, OK? Why? Well, because there are games and themes and stuff. So Why has Melody cried off? Strep throat, I think. Here you go, Harper. I've got emails. What exactly is that supposed to do? It maintains elasticity. Why would you want your face to be elastic? Yeah, Helen does this every night. She doesn't look like a hag. Do you know, Mark is dedicating the whole of November as a party for her. He's even renamed it. He's called it Helen Fest. Was your birthday that rubbish? No. No, it was lovely. I had a lovely time. Just The spa was incredible. I, mean, I wouldn't swap you or Bracken or the homemade cards or the purloined flowers from next door for all the world. I... You really would have liked a party. Something with friends, maybe. Dinner, a soiree. Come with me. Well, I, you know, I don't want George first. I just wanted to make some memories. Tomorrow night there will be an upmarket, high-tech, fancy dress scavenger hunt. The mini cameras will relay <laughs> images of the teams to the monitor. What? Sorry, how? When you wire a plug, you fuse Birmingham? Well, I get the Harvey to wire it up, fix it up and make it work. The Harvey's a perk. Oh, Gwyneth and Wendy would be here, but they have to be in New York. So who's Harvey? Yeah, the games master. He's a bit of a pillock, but cool looking like you wouldn't <laughs> believe but zero social skills so he is wizard at quests and all things techie right so there's two teams yeah head to head we're the leaders of course both teams have tasks yeah well we're gonna win who have i got two have i got okay you've got <laughs> julia and mal jimmy and eva rachel and stephen from next door and archie yeah well you've got them <laughs> Give him a part. Good move, Brigadier. Good move. Yeah. <laughs> and Joe and Daniel, uh, Ruth, Mike and Michelle, and the two Shawns. Wait, how come you've got eight? Because one of them is Melody, and Melody is a handicap. Oh, and health and safety issues with the wheelchair, so he won't be coming. No, of course, that's fine. 
Yeah, shame, but there you have it. And Vivian wouldn't choose and then refused to try on her belly dancer outfit, so I'm afraid I've had to withdraw her invitation. <laughs> Our few and few. Now, um, Mark and Helen. Oh, yes, I know, family christening. Mm. Listen, if I were a nicer person, I'd be saying, oh, thank you, <laughs> instead of reveling in the idea of crashing your pitiful team into the dirt. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Be a good girl for Daddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Harvey, my man, good to see you. Uh, didn't we say 12.30? I'm just uh, taking my daughter to her friend. Better than keeping her in a house full of drunks, I suppose. I've got some calibration to finalise. Uh, this is George, party girl. Hi, do you want to come in and have some coffee? I don't drink caffeine. That's a perk. <laughs> Massachusetts General have improved the offer they made me. You said no to them, though. Well, things change. Not that much, though. <laughs> anyway, you like it here. Stratford's close. Peak District, friends, family, colleagues. Why would you want to go to Boston? Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, challenging new job, new friends, Emily and Annie. Yeah, but Boston, though. Isn't it all baked beans and tea party reenactments? I'm so sick of all this hearty banter and breeziness. You can only be hearty and breezy because I'm here, worn out and miserable, putting everything right and keeping a roof over your head. They improved their offer, then. I could be having my next brunch in New England. Joe, come on, don't be so hasty. All right, you can go as grouchy if you like. I'll wear the wig. You know I'm a great ballroom dancer. Are you? Oh, yes. So, with my natural rhythm and my outstanding physical talent, <laughs> I think I can promise you an unforgettable evening. <laughs> you know, I love having you here. Yeah? Yeah, for lots of reasons, not just your... Natural you know. rhythm? <laughs> <laughs> I should think so, too. <laughs> I will sweep you off your feet. You know how much more than the African Fred is there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You sure you don't mind? Your outfit was miserable. An air hostess, what a pants costume. And what's the point in that? Wicked. Right, and what's the mate. point in looking like a All sexual right. goddess? Okay. Check out gay boy. I so can't believe I didn't suss it. He's so a friend of Dorothy's. Now, if Mike really was, you know, mm -hmm. don't you think Archie would have said something? Like what? No point flirting with Mike, Michelle. He might look like he's playing for England, but he's actually batting for the other team. Ladies, you having lunch? I'll join you if you're stopping. Sorry, lots of prep. Oh, right, well, I'll make a move then. Your friend looked nice. Have I seen him somewhere before? Uh, well, you might have. He's in Mary Poppins at the Hippodrome. Oh, musical theatre. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, well, if you're not stopping, I'm gonna head home and knock up a sandwich. Mike, if we were eating, what would you have? <laughs> I don't know. Quiche looks kind of nice. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Quiche? Could he be any gayer? <laughs> <laughs> Expecting people to parade around in fetish gear. It's not even dark. It's George's 40th birthday. It was always going to be a bit bizarre. Come on, you love it. I know. Look, we're going to this party. I don't care what's up with Miss Flirting Knickers. She does not fancy me. She offered to clean your car in a miniskirt and high heels. Chloe, what's wrong? I've lost my poppy. Oh, well, I'm sure your mum and dad will help you find it. We're just off to a party. They're not going to be back till late. Are you home alone? Oh, I'm 16 in February. Will you help me look for her? Please, Jimmy, I, I know you're going out, but we were in the park and... <laughs> you go on. Jimmy can meet you later. I don't want to have to spoil your evening, too. I didn't know you had a dog. What's its name? Cupcake. <laughs> oh, Chloe, don't cry. Right. It looks like we're all going to the park to find Cupcake. You don't have to come. You go to your party. No, I think I'll keep an eye on our hero. I'll make a great sidekick, me. 
this records everything that we do. I mean, that is amazing. <laughs> this is cutting edge technology and very expensive. So I'd be grateful if you just put them on and refrain from swinging them around. I'd appreciate you taking great care of them when you're out in the field. The field? Well, hang on, we've got to do all this in public. <laughs> the tasks loosely relate to the costumes chosen. Each team has one clue-driven task. Sorry. Additionally, individual team members undertake either a unique gather command... Yeah, but outside, dressed like this. Yes, you look gorgeous, you know you do. Oh, or a personal something. challenge which will be drawn at random. <laughs> Execution must be filmed and relayed back to HQ. First team back wins. Is there a prize? Oh, Malcolm Glory. Icky sticky glory. Combitants will be driven into Central Leatherbridge in the minibus. You see, you get to stay here. Yes, as I am Team Luda. So who else is on our team then? <laughs> We've well, got uh, Jimmy and Eva and Archie, a uh, couple of uh, superheroes <laughs> and uh, Gandalf. Although I think Archie would have made a first-class really Bilbo because of his hairy feet. <laughs> um, and then we've got Rachel and Stephen. But then they are here Hi. talking to the devil. Hello, Hello. Rachel. Hello. Gorgeous <laughs> Stephen. Well, I must warn you, I'm an extremely competitive person. Well, good. Good, do anything you have to do. And remember, it's not just about the winning. I want you to utterly humiliate the other team. Very high <laughs> Mike, Harvey. Harvey, Mike. How you doing, mate? Um, Archie can't make it, by the way. He's in oh, his pit no. with double Beechams and Battlestar Galactica. No. Says it's flu, but I think it's... Melody. Oh, poo. <sighs> OK, prepare for a drubbing, Georgina. Um, yeah, right. Is the Black Fred Astaire the partner of the mature Ginger Rogers? Yes. <clears throat> I know, I know, I'm... Mm. <laughs> you know, you're lucky I consider your rudeness a crisis of genetics. Have you got your mini cam? Because if I thought you knew how offensive you'd just been... And, you know, the best thing, I think, about uh, Ginger Rogers was that she did it backwards. She did... Well, no. She did everything that Fred did in heels and backwards. Backwards and... To a drink. <laughs> Who would like a drink? Yes. Too good. Yes. Good. <laughs> Cupcake! <laughs> Cupcake! Cupcake! Here, Pop! We're not going to find her, are we? <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, we will. Look, Eva's over there. She's still looking, and she doesn't even like puppies very much. Let's try it. Bloody waste of time. Cupcake! Ah! God. What's wrong with you? Am I such a joke to you? Ah. Uh. Didn't realise you were sleeping. Just go to the party, Daniel. Sorry about that. Um, maybe I should stay. Oh, I've got a lot on my mind. I want a quiet evening. Not going to make any life-changing decisions while I'm away, are you? Give them my apologies. All right, well, I won't stay long then. I'll just show my face, have a couple. Actually, that would be a good thing. Right. So, shall we say 10.30, then? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll be starting early anyway, so uh, you won't have to wait up. And then maybe after... We could talk. OK. See you at half ten. Please. <laughs> if the Marilyns wouldn't mind. OK, those of you with mini cams, please check them now. Uh, Bacchus God of Wine. Oops, <laughs> Hey. Fred Astaire. Ah. Uh, Daniel's on his way. Joe's still under the way there. Melody's not coming either. It's um, oh no, a sore throat or something. Oh, poo. Oh. Yeah, yeah, right. Joe's see miraculous recovery. Uh, Phone Melody and tell her that Archie's cried up. <laughs> what a pair. Well, I want uh, Daniel on my team. You can't have him. I'm depleted. Oh, yeah, you're something. What was it? Oh, yeah, you're a loser. Yeah. Yeah. Money where your mouth is, Woodson. 50 quid. Yeah, double it and you're on. <laughs> you better go move on, Harvey. Daniel will have to catch up. I've got a Gujarati banquet being delivered at eight. No, oh. shut up. Masala dosa, samosas, and cacciatore balls. Oh, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> it's pecora and also pistachio coffee for pud. Oh, <laughs> shut up! Shut up! <laughs> are they talking about food? <laughs> so. uh, clues are to be opened on site and strictly chronologically. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Gathers and challenges. Right. OK. Uh, this one's for Groucho. Yeah, well, I will read this because I am his team leader. Uh, this is a gather and find uh, thing. Right, OK, so... Ooh, pop sock. Worn. Ooh. Oh, shut up! Nice! <laughs> in your face, Queen of the Night! <laughs> a first kiss. 
bit late for that. A kiss with someone you haven't kissed before. Oh, uh, um, what, like someone I, I don't know. Manic pedantry is never cute. Kiss someone for the first time, someone you meet whilst on your quest or someone on your quest with you. Well, can it be? It th can be of either sex. Oh, oh, well, I don't want no dry pecking love. <laughs> Toes and everything. Oh. George! Right, oh. everybody, the minibus awaits. Let's <laughs> go. Yeah. Oh, right. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Oh. Hey, Another glass? Oh, yes, because oh. uh, I have every right to get patooted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prepared to get your asp whooped like it's never been whooped before. Mm. Promises, promises. Oh, shut up! Oh, shut up! You shut, shut up! up! Well, what else could we do? We've got to help her. You honestly don't get it, do you? She probably abandoned that puppy on purpose just so she could get you to help look for it. Ach, rubbish. Just because, look, I can't talk right now. My mother said to say thank you for staying in the park with me. Can I have a word with her? I can't call her. She's just gone into the theatre and, and I've got no credit. Right, well, we'll get you home and I'll pick up a phone on the way. What? Call the old Bill? See if they've got cupcake. Please don't deal with strays anymore. We'll call Animal Rescue. You did have a chip, didn't you? Right, well, I'm going to stay and keep looking. Are you? Oh, thank you, Jimmy. You're, you're so kind. George to Daniel, are you reading me over? Yeah, still loud and clear. Yeah, read it again, would you? Read it again! Not to sleep. Step out in style from the right place. Do you think this music is important? Warmer. Yes, yes it is! Time up. Change oh, the teams. that's no fair! Alpha Squad, we're back online. Can I have an update, please? OK, so we reckoned a pound or euro for transport had to be a shopping trolley, right? Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> Which would have been humorously apt had the other Marilyn actually come as a trolley dolly, correct? Move on. Yes, in your face! Oh, that's a rubbish pun! Trolley dolly, our house is a pants costume anyway. Have um, you and Dr Clay been to get along? I think we need a little bit of a chat, don't you? I was just making conversation. I don't care about you and Jimmy. We both know you do. Come on. Listen, Chloe, I know what it's like. I was 15, I know. Neil Lehman. He was my best mate's brother. I fancied him so much, it made us feel sick. He gave us a poor low mint once. Cupcake! Couldn't eat it. I just kept it in a box in my knicker drawer, and I used to take it out and look at it. Psycho. <laughs> Jimmy's not even that good looking. Cupcake! Neil Lehman. I used to make excuses to go round and see him when he was on his own. I even offered to wash his car once. That was for charity. And I really, really hated his girlfriend. She was French. Oh, Ivor, Neil is, uh, he's too old for you. He's, uh, how you say, out of your league. <laughs> Cow. Cupcake! She was right about him being too old, though. So, not out of your league? No one's ever out of your league, pet. What happened? Tess McCaffrey. Oh, six former, county swimmer. So, Chloe, about this dog. How come you haven't got a dog lead? OK. Um, we got it. Yeah, I think we've got it, OK? We got it. Um, top hat. It's from the film, so we're supposed to dance, right? Correct. Yes, bang on! Take it away, Julia! <laughs> <laughs> Come to Mama! Shifting team observation. <laughs> we can still win this. OK, yeah, right, we've got, um The diamond yeah. collar, we've got <laughs> the oh, basketball. Got oh. <laughs> all, all we need is the, um, half pint of milk. Yeah, another kiss. Pint of milk. The surplus milk yeah. cannot be thrown away. The surplus milk cannot be thrown away, whatever that means, Ruth. Shifting. <laughs> Cute you are. I thought I might got stuck in the 
You're such a pushover. There is no puppy. Of course there is. Why would no, you? No, because I was right, and you are the spoon that stirs Chloe's bubbling vat of hormones. There's no puppy. You're joking. No, it was just a trick to get next to you in your chest. So I was right, so listen to me next time, OK? Chloe's hero. Mind you, I can see why she found you particularly hot tonight. Hot? Ooh, sizzling. You ready? What for? Playtime. <laughs> 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 anymore than we go. We can't throw it away. Oh, come here, I'll do it. Oh, and yet again, the star team player, Nurse Corrigan, trolley riding beauty. Right, all we need now is you and your smooch. We've got to take this trolley back. Yeah, Ruth, grab this. <laughs> what are you doing? We're well, going you batting for the other team. What? Oh, you shut up, Spielberg, and keep filming. I don't eat ethnic foods. All oh, right. If you've not managed to hook up with the spare doctor, then. What? Daniel? <laughs> no. Out of your league, eh? Excuse me? You've no chance with Dr. Dishy. How about you and I make a little movie magic of our own? <laughs> Something a bit hot. Maybe a little blue. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know you want to. Trouble, uh, and I can explain. No, no, you can't. And I'm sorry. Of course you are. It's your default position, isn't it, Daniel? You are an infuriating, perpetual child. Peter Pan. No, Peter Pan would suggest some charm, but you have all the charm of a petulant, spoilt bedwetter who expects me to ceaselessly get up in the middle of the night and change his sheets for him. <laughs> feckless. Don't, don't forget feckless. If you'd ever give me the chance to forget how spineless and pathetic you are, it would be a miracle! It's my fault. I should have rubbed your nose in it. I was joking. Well, I'm not laughing. You won't have enough room in your cases. There's some bin bags in the kitchen. What do you do? Amazing. <laughs> You're capable of such complex scheming, such multifaceted lying, such intellectual and professional capacity, and yet you are so stupid that you do not seem to realise that you are leaving. Leaving? I've had enough. This ends now, tonight. I'm throwing you out. Oh, come on, Joe. It's late. It's not fair to be mad at a drunk person. I have at last had more of you than I can stomach. All I did was lose track of time. Don't you dare, don't you dare make out that I've been unreasonable. You have exhausted me! You are not my child. I have a child. You are a grown man. And I have expended all the resource and resilience that I should have dedicated to her over the last few months. You can't blame me for Emily. I love Emily. You love nobody but yourself. You are a self-gratifying pathological narcissist, and I have done with you. I am leaving for Boston. You are just leaving. The bin bags are in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. 
I hope nobody minds. What's you doing here? Uh, it's just something I would like to say. Joe, please. I'm dropping off all the keys at the estate agents on the way to the airport. I could do that for you. I mean, what about all your stuff? I could in the morning. Let's sort it. But do you really think for one moment I would trust you with the simplest thing? What am I going to do? Grow up. Goodbye, Daniel. When I first met you, I didn't know anything about you. I didn't need to know anything because I saw the excitement and joy shining in your eyes. Now I do know you. I want you and I want to be a part of your life. I can't give you caviar or roses, but I can give you all my heart. Have it. It's all yours. Julia, I love you. Will you marry me? What did he just say? You know, if you didn't want to come. I do. I'm here, all right? Fancy yourselves as a con artist, do we? No. If you say she was just a distraction, then I suppose I have to believe you. Now, when Joe left, he told me that you were happy to cover his caseload. Did he? And I think he might have meningitis. Meningitis? <laughs> Next, a murder witnessed by millions, but who done it? It's death by television in Diagnosis Murder. And later on BBC One Scotland, more contestants in the firing line with Anne Robinson on The Weakest Link at 5.15.